carbonara pasta is probably one of the most misunderstood pastas because people think there's cream in it. There ain't no cream in this carbonara, Josh. No cream. <laughs> no cream whatsoever. So we have San Remo spaghetti, which we need to get into the water straight away. A good pinch of salt, mm -hmm. okay. And this one, I like that. Way... So violent. Right. I'm not violent, Just <laughs> Just opening the packet, that's all it is. One whole packet of pasta. One whole packet of spaghetti. Now, your preference, whatever you like, number five, thin, you know, angel hair, whatever, yeah. but I prefer just the standard. Spaghetti's good yeah. for me. Now, I should say, Adam Swanson is the pasta master. If anyone is going to make this to perfection, it's you, right? You're making me nervous now. Good. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jess, I need to dice up the pancetta. Okay. Whilst I'm doing that, you can mm -hmm. crack the eggs for me. So, four yolks okay. and one whole egg. Oh, sure. That. Do you know the story how carbonara came about, Sus? No, can you tell me? Well, when the Americans came into Italy with mm -hmm. the war, yep. all right, the soldiers were there and they were starving, you know, they needed to eat something. They said to the old Italian ladies, ah, bacon, bacon and eggs. And you imagine the Italian ladies going, huh? What do you mean, yeah, bacon and <laughs> egg? So the Italian knew bacon being a pig, yeah, yep, and then eggs, obviously. So they said, okay, we make you a plate of pasta. So they got pancetta, diced it up, into the pan it went. Yep. Rendered that off, cooked some spaghetti, yeah, in the pan. Yep. And then they cracked some eggs through the pasta. Yep. And of course, what's an Italian pasta dish without? Parmesan. Ooh, you're right. <laughs> Parmesan and pecorino. And yep. then the, the Americans, which is even more funny, they said, oh, no, we want chili, chili. Oh, chili, tell them I want chili. <laughs> so they on added... On pasta. <laughs> on pasta, exactly right. Yep. A white pasta of all yep. things. They added cracked pepper on top. So that's how carbonara came about. Nice. I love stories like that because I'll remember that now. And it's almost like a recipe in itself because it you always remember the steps on how to make it. And I think that's why I love uh, Italian food so much and the world loves Italian food so much. It's all about the basics. Um, there's so much history behind each dish and the re regionality of it. This has one, two, three, four ingredients to it to make something uh, really shine and become quite magical. Mm. Yeah, absolutely correct. Now into a cold pan, just get the okay. pancetta in. Yeah. I'll add a little splash of oil. Okay. Now people may say butter, no need for butter with this one. It's all about the olive oil and obviously the natural fat within the pancetta, the piggy, the flavour will go through. Yeah. A little splash like so. Mm -hmm. Our pasta is going to take about 10 minutes to cook, yep. but I always cook it a little bit under, so about nine minutes and nice and al dente. Good. Okay. And then we just need to render that out, get that going. You've done the eggs, which I need you to whisk now for me. Okay. And add in the parmesan and pecorino into there also. All right. Okay, Jazz. Pancetta, crispy, perfect. Pasta, getting there, al dente. Yep. Okay, straight out of the water into the pan. Listen to that sizzle, yeah? Nice. Give that little flick. Yep. Okay, this is the crucial spots here. So, turn pasta water off. This helps you stopping your egg from scrambling. And you've still got the heat on this pan. Yeah, I'm about to turn off. About Thank you very off. much, Chef. Yeah. Beautiful. Just taking that off yeah. the heat, because you're going to add in your egg yolk and just flick it through. Now, if you stress out and you go, oh no, she's curdling, all right? Look, a bit of pasta water. Yep. Just brings it around, okay? And away we go. But now, remember chili. No Where's chili. the chili? Where's the chili, they say, the Americans? Pepper. Pepper. Look at that. This is the crucial point. I mean, it's a very easy dish to do, it but is. you've got to get this right. It's that combination of the eggs and the water mm -hmm. that makes it look crazy and incredible. And the movement, that. okay? The movement. You've got to make sure that your spaghetti is moving, constant moving. It's a little bit like a stir fry, yeah? yeah. When you stir frying, you've got to keep moving. Nice. So look at that. Luscious spaghetti. And the first time you try it, the eggs might scramble. Because the first time I did it, I know a lot of people, because my eggs keep scrambling. Just you'll get the feel of it by adding the water and the eggs and the agitation of the pan. Look at that. One more. Just a little bit to finish. Oh, yes. Ah, the simple things in life. Always taste the best, don't they? Couldn't agree more. Let's have a taste. You need that slope. That is good. That's 10 out of 10. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Thanks, Russ. Mm. A bit more.